I'm Kate McGovern for SportsTownChicago.com, and we're here today at Chelios' Pub and Grill in Aurora. We're broadcasting live the Kate Minus Weight Hour, and that is going to be talking about fitness and health. Then we'll switch over to the Cato and Sacco Double Power Hour Reunion, where we'll be talking about baseball and the Bears' upcoming season. So stay tuned right here at SportsTownChicago.com. Cardio is a big thing. You need to only do between 35 and 45 minutes, three times a week. That's really all you have to do. And you need to weight train two to three times a week. And then you're looking great an optimal amount of time. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. If you have 30 minutes in the day to work out, spend 15 minutes weight training, 15 minutes doing cardio. Always cardio after your weights because you want to have enough energy to lift the weight. And then afterwards, you just do some low endurance or high endurance cardio, like running or elliptical or anything that makes you do something to get your heart rate going. And that's key, what you just said, is cardio after weights. Key is definitely cardio after weights. You never do cardio before when you're looking to, you need to have energy to do the weight. You never ever want to train and do cardio first because you're going to be exhausted at that point. You want to have energy to lift the weights, and then once you're done lifting the weights, that's when you're doing your mild, your mild sources of putting on your extra amount of time to keep the fat burning by doing cardio after you lift the weights. Is there some, like, is there some, does it upset you if somebody's looking at you being like, yes. wow? Yeah, wow. Because sometimes people look at me and I get the really uneducated person that's looking at me, and I get it often, and I've had it for the last 12 years. You get the uneducated person looking at you going, you know, you kind of look like a guy because you're so big and they don't understand. I knew what I was doing when I first started doing this. I knew I was going to look different from everybody else. What goes through my mind every day is I might look different from everybody else, but I look, I can't look the way you do and you can't look the way I do. It's, you have to change your own mindset. You have to make yourself better and happier and accept that you're different. When people are looking at you, instead of you thinking, what are you looking at? You have to say, well, they're looking at me in awe because they're going, what, what does it take to do that? Oh my gosh, I, wanna, I want her arms or I want her abs or I want to have calves as big as her. You have to remind yourself there's a positive side to it, even though the negatives are, the majority of the people are completely uneducated. They don't understand what it takes to do, nor would they want to, and they don't have to. They don't, I mean, no one has to be a bodybuilder, but we choose to. Hi, I'm Louis Sakamana for SportstownChicago.com. Coming up next, a very special edition of the Cato and Sacco Double Power Hour. It is our last show and a reunion show, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that right here on SportstownChicago.com. Welcome back to the Cato and Sacco Double Power Hour reunion here at Chili's Pub and Grill in Aurora. We're broadcasting live today and right before we went to break, Big Boom and I were talking about the White Sox. And we all know that typically with the White Sox and the AL Central, when it comes down to the last part of the season, last month or so, there's always a one-two game difference between pretty much Minnesota and the Sox almost every year. And it looks like it's going to happen that way again this year. Now, we we made a good trade getting Edwin Jackson and getting another arm with the uh, injury to PB, so I like that. Now, the only thing I don't like is that we didn't go after a big bat. We definitely need one, I believe, going into the second half of the season here, especially a big-handed left-handed bat. Why didn't they, in your opinion? What do you think? They just didn't want to make the trade with Beckham? They didn't want to... Uh, they didn't want to lose the money, or do you think that they got something else in the works that wasn't the right time for that? Well, they were trying to get Adam done for the Nationals, and uh, uh, Mike Rizzo, I believe is the name, is the general manager for the Nationals. They wanted both Daniel Hudson and Dion Viciato in a trade for Adam Dunn. Now, the White Sox were willing to give up Daniel Hudson, but they didn't want to give up Dion Viciato. As you see, Viciato now with the White Sox, I think should be their DH from here on forward because the tank is hot. The hot. tank, he can flat out hit. He reminds me of a very, very young, raw Frank Thomas with his power and his ability to go to both left and right field. Now, they didn't want to give up on Viciato. They were willing to give them Tyler Flowers or a Brett Morrell, which is an infielder in the White Sox organization. And the Sox didn't want to, you know, want to give up Viciato. So that's why that deal fell through. Now, 
Don't be surprised if Kenny Williams goes out and get a name like Manny Ramirez to come on the south side of Chicago. Now, everybody's going to be taken back like, wait, Manny Ramirez, wait, the, the cancer in the clubhouse? I'm not saying that he's not a cancer because he, he can be, and you see him time after time, both in Boston, now in L.A., become a cancer, but the guy can still hit. All right. We are at Tell Us' Public Girl in Aurora, and we're going to take another quick break. When we come back, we're going to move, move on over to football because we didn't get to talk about football, Lou. And oh, I'm sure you're excited. I'm excited. You're excited for the Bears 9-6 and six season I'm when it's going to be 5-11. and 11. I'm, no, I'm excited to talk about the Bears right now. Not excited for the other issue that we got to talk about, too, but I'm going to allow it. We're going to say the F word on air. So when we come back and into football, it is the Kato and Sacco Double Power Hour. We're going to be right here on SportsTownChicago.com. How's it going, everybody? Dr. Pete here along with Damian Brown and Louie. Big Lou Sakamando, we are here at Chelios's Pub and Grill in Aurora. We'll start with Damien. You got to do a lot of filming tonight. Was uh, What was it from your end of the spectrum? You know what? It was an absolutely great event. Big Lou here and uh, Miss Cato did an absolutely great job. Both of their uh, remotes did, you know, went really well. Kate's guest, you know, just the uh, the talk that Lou and, and Kate have back and forth with each other is, you know, is, is top notch. So, I, I gotta say it was an absolute success. Yeah, speaking of talking, Lou, you did a lot of talking about the White Sox and the Bears. Predictions just for our video fans out there. White Sox right now, game and a half ahead as of this date. Where are they going from here? Uh, I think you're going to see Kenny Williams get that extra bat that they wanted. I think you get Manny Ramirez on the south side. Even if it's for six weeks, he can't be a cancer for that long. You get him, get that big bat, one of the most successful postseason hitters in MLB history, a big force in the middle of that lineup for Ozzie Guillen. They win the AL Central, and I'm not going to say they go to the World Series and win it, but at least they make it interesting for both the Yankees, the Rays, and the Texas Rangers. As for the Bears, the toughest schedule in the NFL, their last four games, the Patriots, the Vikings, the Jets, and the Packers, I don't even know why they would have a 7-9 team and give them that schedule, but they did. They're going to struggle to even get to 500. I said at best 7-9 and nine for the Bears. Obviously, I hope for the best, but realistically, it's not going to look good for the Bears this season. And that is going to be it for us today on SportsTownChicago.com. We had a... Uh, Kato and Sacco, Double Power Hour Union, and Kate Minus Weight broadcasting live at Chelios' Pub and Grill. Lou, how do you feel like our broadcast went? I thought both shows with, uh, went absolutely wonderfully, and the best part, the atmosphere inside Chelios' Bar and Grill was fantastic, and I can't wait to come back. All right, that's it for us today on SportsTownChicago.com. Thanks for tuning in.